Hi, Bill Jones from Turntastic Wood Designs. I've been having a little problem with bees boring holes in the side of my shop. Carpenter bees bore holes in wood and uh, it's the spring, and so especially this time of year, they come around and start boring holes and uh, I don't like bees, so I want to get rid of them. So I found a way to make a bee trap. Looks like this. It's pretty simple. It's just a chunk of wood with, on the wood, there's a hole that comes up through the bottom. There's a hole in the lid of this jar that, that matches. And then there are holes on the side of this piece of wood that come up at an angle and meet the center hole. What happens then is the bee goes in this hole, goes up there, falls down into the jar, and because of the light, they can't figure out how to get up and back out at an angle. So they, they die in the jar. So if you're having a problem with uh, carpenter bees, I'll show you how to make one of these next. So here's everything you need. You'll need a clear jar. It can be glass or plastic, doesn't matter as long as it's clear, with a lid. A chunk of wood. I'm using a 4x4, four four, but it, what really matters is that it the lid can, can pretty much fit on the end grain. So you'll need a piece of 4x4. Four four. It needs to be about 5 inches long. I've got uh, a pencil, a speed square, a small finish nail, a hammer, a pair of needle nose pliers, two wood screws. They can be pretty short. A drill and a half inch drill bit. I also have here an impact driver. You can use a Phillips screwdriver if you don't have one. So it's a pretty simple process. You start by finding the center point of the end grain of your piece. All right, and if it's not exact, it's not the end of the world. And drill a half inch hole as far as your drill bit will go down through that. Keep it as straight as you can. Next, you drill a hole in each side at an angle so that it intersects with this hole. And I start by first drilling the hole straight just so I can get it started and then bend my drill down or angle my drill down I should say. And I use my square here to make sure I'm kind of at a 45 degree angle-ish. And drill. And you'll feel it when it intersects. It'll get easier to drill, not intersect it. You do that on all four sides.
drill battery is starting to go. Okay, just kind of knock the dust out of there as best you can. Use my pencil to get it out a little bit. All right, next you take the lid, put it upside down on your piece. And I use the finish nail, what in the world did I do with that? There we go, as a punch. And get roughly center, punch a little hole. That'll help get the, the drill started. And drill a half inch hole through your lid. All right, with that there, line up the holes, and again using the finish nail for a punch, I punch a small hole over here, and a small hole over here, and use my small wood screws then to screw the lid on. Put the jar on, and we're almost done. One final thing, if you happen to have laying around an eyelet, you can just screw an eyelet in there. If you don't, you can do what I do, is just take your finish nail, tap it in there part way, then take your needle nose pliers and bend it around to make a hook. And there you can tie a string onto that and hang it up near where the bees will be and this will trap them. And as you can see, it works pretty well. Well, I hope you've liked this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment area below. I'd love to hear from you, answer any questions you may have. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.